Hello everybody, Dr. Raul Rodriguez here with Rodriguez Rejuvenation. Today we're going to be doing hormone pellet insertion, a simple 10 minute technique done with local anesthesia here in the office. Uh, it's a great way to get your hormones where it needs to be. Uh, as you guys know, hormones uh, can affect your mood, can affect stamina, affect libido, affect uh, mental focus and clarity and concentration, uh, energy levels, and this gentleman today, He's had previous hormone pellets before, and he has started noticing a decline in his uh, function. So we're gonna get him back up to where he needs to be. The first step in doing this is just, we numb up a little spot on the skin. You're gonna feel just a little poke, like a mosquito bite here. And that's where we're going to be making our opening. And then... I've marked the tracks where we're going to be putting the pellets. And I'll just put a little bit more anesthetic along that, that area to numb all that up so that's comfortable for him. Same thing over here in this direction. Thing in this direction. So now we've allowed a few minutes for the epinephrine to work in this area that minimizes any bruising in the area. Now we simply make a little small nick in the skin. Like so. This will be closed up with a steri strip. Make the opening a little bit bigger, the choke card to go through. And now the technique that I like to use is a blunt technique. Notice this is blunt, it's not sharp. We put it underneath the skin like this. We're going to put the first row of pellets here. We're moving just underneath the skin. So I'm moving it back and forth. That keeps pellets from coming out. Okay, and we want it deep enough so that the pellets aren't felt directly underneath the skin. Okay. So now we take out the center part here and we place our first pellets. The pellets, as you can see, are about the size of a big grain of rice. We load them up right here. One. Two, it's like loading up a cannon. But it's much more powerful than the cannon. And what you're gonna feel like once the pellets are inserted. And then four, like so. Once the pellets are where they need to be, I take my little tow car here again, push them all in, and then I pull back leaving the pellets underneath the skin. So that's one track we're going to do. We're going to repeat the same process two more times. Go in this direction, like so. Put three pellets in this one, in this track, one, two, and three. Just all the pellets in underneath the skin where they're going to be laying eventually. And we come on out. You see there's no bleeding. We're going to do the same procedure because this is all blunt. See, we're not cutting anything. So 
that decreases the chance of bleeding and bruising. Bruise is just bleeding that occurs under the skin. Put it through the same opening, and I like to wind it back and forth like that so that the pellets aren't all laying one after another. And this way, less chance for the pellets to come out. And we're doing the last area here. Three more pellets. We've already put in seven pellets, and this is going to be for a total of ten. There's number eight. There's number nine, and there is number ten. We push the pellets in where they belong, and then we take the troll car out, leaving the pellets underneath the skin, like so. Now. You see the incision, it's very tiny. It's just a little slit in the skin. We're gonna be just closing this up. You don't need any stitches or anything like that, I mean, for the incision. Take these little pieces of tape, they're called Steri strips, And they help to hold the skin together very nicely. Like so. Who would have thought that tape could be so useful? You really only need one or two of these to close the wound. But I like to put extra ones because they do provide some protection over the site while it heals. Now you see everything is all closed up now. There's minimal blood loss. That's about all the blood that you're going to see. Just a little bit of blood that's oozing from the skin. We put a little pressure dressing over that side. And we secure this with a little piece of tape. And we are all done. We ask the patient to keep this area dry for 24 hours. And then after that, they can take this dressing off off the outside and shower, go about their normal activities. Uh, you leave the stair strips on the skin until they fall off on their own. So very simple procedure, very easy on the patient. And now unlike with uh, weekly testosterone injections, which are painful, they can cause knots in your butt. Uh, this is a very simple, more elegant way to get your hormone levels to where they need to be for many, many, many months. And uh, this gentleman's going to feel awesome. Once again, Dr. Rodriguez with Rodriguez Juvenation. Stay tuned for more videos with good information.